Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to navigate the RAS Kids site. Please remember that this is not an assignment. This is optional reading. It just gives your children greater access to more and more books. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first thing you'll do um, when you get to the RAS Kids website is, is you would click on this green button, Kids Login. It may ask you to put in a teacher code, and that's my teacher code, but I also have that in the email, so you can get it there. Then your child will find their name, click on the picture, and then here they would click on their picture that is their password. That's also in um, the attachment. I think I am the truck, so I would click on that and then go. I wouldn't worry about this level up site. I would start over here at the reading room. So you would click on reading room. Up here gives you all kinds of different places to go to access books. If you want to access books by topic, you would click there. Lots and lots of different books. You can scroll down or across to access those. So if I wanted to read this book on pets, I would click on it. It can read Pets. to me. Written by Lisa Ng. The cat. Or, go back to the reading room. The headphones will be, it will read to you. And then the book is where you would have to read the book. Some of the books have quizzes at the end. Again, those are optional. You don't have to do those if you don't want to. Um, Level books, you can click on the different um, letters to get to where you, the level that you want your child to work at. Not assigning levels, um, but you can look at the stories, the amount of text that's on the page, the size of the text, um, even some of the vocabulary words to kind of judge if that's a good spot for your child or not. There are also some series books that have the same characters throughout. Children like those. There's some Spanish ones, and there's also poems and songs. And that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, let me know.